I'm going to try to do the quickest lanolizing that you've ever seen. It's really exciting. So first off, here is our salad lanolin. And these are the little pouches that we've been giving to a lot of our customers. And through our retailers, there's a little thing of lanolin here and two emulsion blocks. And this is enough to do two lanolizing jobs. Now it says here, freeze me to get me out. It's a little bit sticky. So look at this. This is a piece of lanolin, frozen lanolin. Look, what? I'm gonna do it over here because we're on it. It's probably gonna be like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it's hard. So we are going to get some distilled water. I like using distilled water because some water types will um, have too much acid in it or weird chemistry. Now I put about that much in it, it's a third of a cup or so. You don't need much. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna turn this on for one minute. I'm gonna check it. And now I'm gonna get my lanolin and I'm gonna take about half of it. See, it's already starting to melt. It was rock hard and now it's already sticky. That's how it goes. So if you put your little pouch into the freezer, it's gonna come out way easier. Okay, so I'm using half of it and I'm using one block and we're gonna see how this goes. My water is at 30 seconds here. Um, now I'm gonna use another jar just so I can get this out of my hand. Uh, I'm going to analyze a full coverage doubler and these are really neat. They're basically a diaper cover without the cuffs and waistband. And um, I love them because they can add some extra boost to your diapering routine without adding a whole lot of bulk. They're one of our lower price point items. Um, Gateway into wool, there's some people that use these without uh, even a wool cover. And uh, you can put them over just about any type of diaper that you want. And uh, you can super lanolize them. All right, I talked our way through the minute. Beep. All right, so this is nice and warm. And I'm gonna put my lanolin and my block in here. I personally don't think that there's a big difference between which one you put in first. And I'm just gonna stir. And it's already starting to melt. And all I'm trying to do here is get my lanolin emulsified and mixed in. And I don't really need the soap. I'm not trying to get soap into my wool. I'm just trying to get lanolin in my wool, right? So let's see how it went milky already. I don't know how well you can see that. Ooh, it looks so creamy. All right. I don't really see any more fat in there or wax, I should say. So now I'm going to pour this into my bowl and the bowl is cold, right? I'm aerating it. Look how much cube is left in here. There's still that much cube. I barely even used any of it. So you can reuse this. No reason to throw that out. I hate wasting any. All right. So now it's in my bowl and look, I'm cooling it just a little bit. Just like, I don't know if anybody's made custard before, you temper it with egg yolks and you wanna curdle the milk and all that, right? So I'm gonna pour a little bit more of my water in here. Oops, I'm covering the brand. So look, I don't have very much water in here. We don't need much. So I'm pouring a little bit in here and I'm just gonna mix a little bit and I'm pouring a little bit more. I don't want too much water. I'm not gonna be soaking this. Now again, we're trying to get lanolin into the wool. We don't need water in the wool and we don't need soap in the wool. We're trying to get lanolin. So look how pretty that is. That's kind of what we're looking for. Now I'm gonna take my diaper cover. Let's pretend that there's cuffs on here. Again, I'm thrifty and I don't want, I don't have a diaper cover that I'm going to dunk in here. Um, so I'm using our lower price point item because I don't have to worry as much. All right, so I'm just gonna go with the wet zone first and I'm putting it in the water. There we go, I got my wet zone done. And I'm just gonna smush it in here. And swishy, swishy, squishy, squishy. Look, I soaked up all the water and I'm just gonna squish it out. Look at that, all my water's gone. Now I don't have to worry about dumping lanolin down the sink and guess what how much lanolin is in here how much lanolin is in here nothing I mean, is that all the lanolin i put in the bowl i know is in my wool you have so much more control doing it like this so i just squeeze it out a little bit more so what i have in here is some water and i have all that lanolin is in here it's pretty evenly distributed i have very little soap in and it's all analyzed 
So what I like to do next is I'm just going to rinse out the soap. It'll leave the lanolin in and you let it dry and you're done. And if you decide you want extra lanolin in it, you can do it again because it only took a few seconds, right? And uh, what's really cool is this is absolutely sticky tacky right now because I got a whole, there's this much lanolin on this diaper cover and nothing going to waste.